Hey everyone, today we're putting Hyperland and Sway head to head in a real stability test for 2025. Both are Wayland tiling compositors, but they offer totally different vibes. Sway focuses on rock solid stability and simplicity. It's the spiritual successor to i3, built for people who want reliability over flash. It runs clean, uses minimal resources, and just works. You won't get fancy animations or visual effects, but crashes and bugs are rare. It's the go-to choice for developers and anyone who needs a workstation that won't break mid-project. Now Hyperland brings style and modern polish to the Wayland scene. You get smooth animations, blur, rounded corners, gestures, and tons of customization. It looks and feels modern, almost like i3 met a compositor from the future. But that power comes at a price, stability. Some users experience random crashes, GPU issues, or display glitches, especially with complex multi-monitor setups or NVIDIA cards. Still, the devs push updates constantly, and each release makes Hyperland more stable and refined. So which one's better? If you're after performance, reliability, and peace of mind, go with Sway. If you love tweaking, want eye candy, and don't mind the occasional bug, Hyperland is an exciting choice. Personally, I'd say Sway wins for pure stability, but Hyperland steals the show for innovation. It all depends on whether you want a set it and forget it system or a living, evolving Linux desktop full of flair.